Goyer, thank you, Alderman, for joining us. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me this evening. So tell us what's in this ordinance and how it would work. Simply put, it's, it's an ordinance authorizing the police to cancel the contract with the Chicago Public Schools, uh, the $33 million contract you referred to. Uh, from my understanding, that uh, is used for approximately 180 officers, which, uh, excuse my fuzzy math, that's about $183,000 per officer in schools. And as we're talking about whether people are talking about defund the police, I think we're having a legitimate conversation on what the police what does policing look like in the 21st century? And I don't think that police and schools are an appropriate use of our resources. Alderman Sawyer, Julie Unruh here. Tell me what is going on inside of schools. And if you could be very specific about what parents are not seeing from the outside, but you have a better idea about what you feel is not going well on the inside when it comes to police officers inside those schools. Sure. I'm sure it was a well-intentioned thought to have police officers in schools, but historically what police officers were doing were protecting the students from outside influences into the school. Now it's turned to police officers criminalizing students for, let's just say, delinquent acts in school. Uh, I was not the perfect student. I know I might have gotten in my share of trouble or two, but I would hate to think, or my parents would have hate to have thought that if I dip someone's pigtail in the ink well, that I would have to go to jail for it. I've talked to students, and I want to thank some of the organizations like Voice and others that had introduced me to students that had minor infractions. Uh, one mouthed off to a police officer, he was had a bad day, but he said something kind of smart, and he ended up going to jail for it. He spent the night in jail. That shouldn't be what we're using police for in schools. So we've heard from Voice. This is a Voices of Youth in Chicago Education, yes. Alderman, and I know you've worked closely with them. They've created yes, their own sort of school discipline reforms. Can you explain that and how those would work? Well, what, what Voice is trying to do, and, and I compliment them on this, uh, they would like to, and I know it's a part of a twofold conversation, the money that's not being used, the 33 uh, some odd million dollars that we're paying the Chicago police, they would love to use it for resource officers, uh, clinicians, social service officers, to the extent that we can find them, psychologists and so, uh, other professionals that can help with social emotional well-being of our students. That's what we should be using money for uh, resource officers for. Alderman Sawyer, what's it going to take to get this actually done? Who gets the last word on whether this major change can actually take place in Chicago? Well, I'm hoping this will lead to a very thorough conversation, again, what 21st century policing looks like. And obviously, like anything else in the city council, we need at least 26 votes to get this passed. Uh, uh, we don't know if we have that at this time. And quite honestly, I don't think we do. But right now, the more important issue is what do we do to ensure our children's safety? And we need to do this prior to the school year beginning uh, in September. We have to do better when it comes to our children. I listened to the, the special school board meeting today, Alderman, and there were a handful of students and a couple of adults who spoke out opposed to the use of these SROs. I tried to find an answer tonight and, and ran out of time, didn't get a call back, but I'm wondering, do you know where the CPS board is on this and what their role would be? Well, obviously, they can also terminate the contract. The provision in the contract is, is mutual, so either party could cancel the contract upon a certain number of days' notice. So CPD can do it or CPS can do it. So CPS has uh, a lot to say in this as well. But again, I I'm hoping that this will lead to uh, better conversations on better use of our police. I, I think that we need police, but I think we need police uh, in a resource mode throughout the city and around our schools, just not in our schools. Interesting topic. Alderman, thank you so much for speaking with us tonight. The conversation clearly continues. We appreciate Thanks. it.